Welcome to Chila Gear Propaganda Films. After the last installment with the terrifying realization that Kyle can go alpine climbing for eight days with only a 30 liter pack, we had to ask him, well, how did you get there? Well, Kyle, how did you get there? Oh man, learning, experience and educating yourself about what you can take in the mountains. And uh, something that you only do through getting out there and, and trying it out. Uh, certainly pack evolution is sort of a, it's a funny topic that I think most people that have spent a lot of years in the mountains um, would, would agree on. And uh, I, I think we all start out here with some huge, ginormous pack. And the Chila Gear 75 liter work sack is a truly amazing piece of work, of course. There it is, and uh, you can fit your beauty mirror in this, right? Oh, definitely. Okay, yeah, because my first backpacking trip when I was 18, um, I did bring a mirror because I was concerned about what I might look like out on the Pacific Crest Trail and very quickly I realized that I didn't need that along with, you know, like, uh, oh, I don't know, 30 pounds of other stuff that was in that backpack that was just completely unnecessary. Um, so yeah, I mean, we all start out here and these packs certainly still have, um, you know, they provide a great service and um, there's Would, there's would you use a pack just, like this now? Oh yeah, certainly. Just uh, last winter I used one for the Super Bowl party that we had up on the second pitch, the Great White Icicle, where we barbecued and drank a bunch of beer. So you can fit a ton of beer in one of these things and frozen hamburgers and um, yeah, uh, barbecue components that might need to be assembled on the top of the second pitch. So, and, and you know, beyond that, like uh, long approaches to base camps, um, it's nice. I mean, you can fit a smaller Chilo gear pack either in this or attached to the outside of it that's just empty um, and roll with that and be prepared for using that thing once you get to base camp. You know, you're not going to need that base camp tent that you're having and there's probably a lot of other things you're, you'll be able to leave there behind and then, you know, straight Your down. harem? What's up? Your harem? A harem. Yeah, you can leave that there. Okay. <laughs> so, continuing on. Um, then you have a pack like this, which Graham will tell us about. Oh, that's a Chila Gear non-woven Dyneema 60 liter pack that we made for Kyle for when we first started sponsoring him. You know, Kyle, Graham yeah, we, it's called, yeah, it's called the Stinky Pack. <laughs> and many, many people across the world actually know it as the Stinky Pack. Uh, that's funny because I think I was known as the Stinky Kid in elementary school wore the sweatpants all the time. Nice. So it hasn't changed, Psych. has it? <laughs> How long did it take you to get from the huge pack level to having what you needed for a climbing trip inside of a pack that was 60 liters? Um, Is that this one trip down the PCT or was it years of experience? It was certainly years and years of uh, cragging and going on longer trips in the mountains. I'd, I've been climbing for 16 years and it started off uh, with a 75 liter and maybe down to a 60, like, um, I don't know, maybe six to eight years in, into the evolution. And um, it was still using a 60 liter even uh, just two years ago. Um, out on this trip to the Tian Shan Mountains where we had a couple days approach and had to carry a lot of stuff out there, um, which of course was strapped down to a horse, but you know, still you, you need room for the comforts and various the whiskey. things. The whiskey? Whiskey, yes, definitely whiskey. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, they still have their place, for sure. And, and um, yeah, they and, can be used for plenty of things. And now, what do you use? And now we're getting even smaller, taking less stuff, going faster, faster, and lighter. And uh, oh, this is my favorite pack in the world right now. I have two of them, and I'm sure everybody wishes they could afford two of them, much like myself. So I'm very thankful to Graham and Chilo Gear for helping me out with these things. And I'm thankful for everybody else that can even spend $5 at my coffee shop in Salt Lake City. Where is it? Salt Lake City, Utah, 3300 South, 2000 East, right on the corner. Higher grounds. Come check us out if you're ever in town. Um, yeah, and that $5 will certainly um, 
go to the Utah State Tax Department. <laughs> and thank you for watching Chilo Gear Propaganda Films. We have one word of warning. Obviously, this evolution of PAX took years of experience, trial, and tribulation. It's incredibly dangerous. Climbing is dangerous. You might die. Well, no, we're all going to die. But be safe, enjoy yourself, and have fun. Thanks for watching Chilo Gear Propaganda Films. <laughs>